Hello people, welcome back to another video. Um, so today we'll be doing a couple things. Um, actually, maybe not a couple things. We'll probably do one thing and update the font. And actually use the font more appropriately, I guess. Um, so yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to use Adam for this tutorial. I'm probably going to use this a couple times. My, I, uh, I'm probably going to use SLJ most of the time. But for now, we can just use this. So yeah, in the previous video, um, we did something with the tile map, and what's going on with you? Uh, there we go, okay. So, we, we did not, where, where did it go? There it is. So we, in the previous video, we did this. Um, I don't know if this is actually the right one. No, it's not. All right, so this is not the right tile map. Um, but anyways, kind of the same thing. Uh, we are not gonna, we're not going to wear the tiles anymore. However, we're going to have a different font. So currently our font our font looks like this. We're going to have another one. And it's going to look like... Like, can I not drag it? No, we can't. Huh. Open container folder. And we're basically going to use this one. I don't want to move it. I want to copy it. Hold on. Just a second. And... Copy, copy, copy. No, oh, paste, 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 paste. There it is. Whoa, what the heck? No, delete it. Get out of here. You don't need move the trash. Freaking trash. Copy it. Then, nope. You want to paste it here. Paste. What the heck? Serious. That's not it. What am I doing wrong? Move the trash. Okay, I'm just going to drag it. Really now? Why? Okay, technical difficulties with Adam already. You're amazing. If that happens, then of course you just do this, and voila. No freaking stupid stuff. It doesn't happen a lot, but hey, it happens. So, no program's perfect. And so yeah, we have this now. Um, I don't think it's formatted, actually. That's not formatted, right? Nope, because I don't remember these these four characters needs to go behind the Z, so this is not the right one. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna have to open this and show an explorer and just freaking open containing folder. So it's probably this one. I can go ahead and delete this one. It's just called font. Very generic. And yeah, I have a good feeling about this one. So open this. There it is. So this is the font that we're going to use. And yeah, as you see, it's formatted in a different way. And actually, if I can just... can't really see it. Let's see if we can just open it or not. I don't know. Uh, show me explorer. And if you open it in paint.net, it's going to take a good long while. So, meanwhile, <laughs> we're going to use it. So, if we go to the freaking states, we go to play state. Uh, all we have to do here is basically... Whoops, my mouse went flying. Go fine. And, yeah. Instead of this, we're going to do something different. Um... If we go to the game panel, we're going to basically display the, display the FPS counter, so we're going to do that. And we're going to need the old frame count. So if we make that a public static, because why not? Static and old frame count. Where is it? There it is. Look at, oh no, my bad, that was me. Just don't know how to press enter. There it is. Just press press enter. That's all it takes. Just one button. Um, so if you go back to the play state, and now we have um, that. What do you want to do with that though? I mean, you can just do game panel, right? Then dot old frame count. There it is, and you can add that to like FPS or whatever. And we should be good with that. That's basically. 
that should actually work out fine. Anyways, so as you can see here, um, this is what the the font sheet looks like, and um, go to render grid. It's a 10 by 10 um, tiles here. We press OK, and all this right here is just going to be blank basically, because this is all other stuff, and it's not going to start here to the exclamation mark. And so, yeah, that's how you do it. This is how you do it properly. It's a, um, it's a pretty big kind of file that we're going on. So it's, I think there's 12 tiles by 11. So yeah, don't save that. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say with that. And we need to put this like in the upper right um, hand corner. So we're going to do that. Hmm. Actually, hold on. Our font. We have to up update our font. Do we? Um. So here in negative 65, we're just gonna do that. We don't need to subtract it by anything because it's exactly as it should be. And it's not 16 by 16. It's a 10 by 10. Um, font. I think that's it. I'm gonna actually do H letter, but we'll do that later. Mm. Okay. Um. So, um, we have the game height, or, yeah, the game width, and we want to subtract it by how many letters they're going to be. So, it could be at the most of five, or six characters, I guess, including the space. So, each character is, uh, I guess, ten by ten. So, that's the offset. So, if we go like that each character is a 10 by 10 uh, let's not make it that small well let's make it that small <laughs> just to see and um here we just want it's a 10 by 10 so probably there i think that would be good so if we go and render that or build that or whatever man window build Ooh, we got some errors. Cannot find symbol. Oh, um, cannot find the game panel, probably. So we just do that. Import com dot go game, right? Okay, dot game panel. Oops. Hey, we did it. And it's right there. It's really small, though. So we're gonna make that bigger. Um, so 32 by 32? That's a reasonable size. Uh, so we need 32, and then, um, so 32 times 6, when well, I can do this, uh, I just lost it, I had it, so easy, but then I'm just like, wait, carry what again? <laughs> um, 32 times 10, oh shoot, really, is it 32, no, what am I doing? No, 32 times 6, okay, just forgot. There it is. So we need uh, 182, and uh, since it's 32, we can just do that. 32 across the board. All right. And there it is, right there. Barely off the edge. It's pretty cool. Space is kind of big. We can we can fix that. We can make this 28, and. And it'll, it'll shrink everything though, not just the space. Yeah, not that much actually. Huh. Mm, let's make it 24. Yeah, there you go. Now the letters are kind of close, but that's fine. So yeah, now we can just. 
Let's actually check out this, this font thing that we're going on. Um, actually, probably better if we had a string, so let's just make this. Like, Private string. That's right, right? Okay. Oh, yeah, we have to put a name. <laughs> um, test. Test. And this would be test.length. Awesome. 32, 32, that's fine. Alright, cool. Um, oh, wait, no, no, we want like 64 or something. This is going to be on top of the other one. Ooh, and it's like, <laughs> all the way, okay, um, I think not that much. Um, I could just leave it at zero. There it is. So that's pretty cool. Like this eye is kind of not in the... Some of the, of the letters are not not right. I think the G is kind of too. I could fix that. Anyways, that's that's basically it. <laughs> My bad. Um, I wasn't. I didn't notice. Uh, that was recording still. So that's basically it for this font update. So yeah, see you guys in the next video.